In this third video of my Canon 60D repair series, I'm going to show you how to remove the CCD, the mirror box, and the shutter assembly. You'll need Diagram 3 to keep track of the screws as you take it apart. You can download this diagram from my website. The link is in the description. The first part that we'll take out is the CCD. That's this part right here. Now there's four screws holding that down. One over here, which is a Phillips head, and then three others, one here, here, and here, that are a toric tip. They're T6. We'll start by taking out the Phillips head screw first. Now before we take out the three toric screws, there's something that we need to do first. We need to mark each screw on the top and then put another mark on the plate below it. Then before we take it out, we'll turn the screw all the way down and count the number of turns that it takes to seat the screw. That way when we put the screw back in, we'll know exactly how many turns it takes to put it back down to the position that it's in right now. Now the reason that that's important is because the CCD floats on springs. So if you turn one screw down more than it should be or not enough, it's going to change the angle of the CCD. So we want to make sure that we get all three screws back in the exact same position. So we can see on this screw where I placed a mark on the screw and on the plate below it. Then we'll turn the screw clockwise so that it's seated all the way down and we'll count how many turns it takes. There's one turn because you see my mark is lined back up again and now we'll keep going. Okay, now it's on the bottom. We've gone one complete turn. Plus you can see that it's gone another half a turn. So this screw, when we put it back in, we'll screw it all the way down and then we'll back it back out one and a half turns. And it'll be right back where it started. Be sure to write down the number of turns for each screw on the diagram itself. That way you know exactly what each one will take. Each screw also has a small piece of metal underneath it. We'll take it off and then just place it with the screw on the diagram. With the four screws out, the CCD should come right off of there now. And with the CCD off, now you can see the three springs that were down below the CCD. The next part that we'll take off is the mirror box. The mirror box includes the eyepiece assembly all the way down through the front here, which you can see the mirror inside. Now there's seven screws that hold this on. One here, one over here, which actually is just holding down a flat ribbon cable. One up on top, and then four on the back here, 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 and here. We'll start by removing the screws on the front.
say with all seven screws removed, you should be able to lift the mirror box assembly right off of there. With the mirror box off the main camera frame, we have access to the shutter assembly. That's this piece right here. Now there's three screws, one here, one here, and one down here that hold that in. With the three screws out, you can lift the entire unit off. Now, what you'll have to do is lift and then slightly turn it at an angle to allow it to come out. You can see I've been using my diagram to keep track of the screws and the other parts that go along with it.